just a little jaunt locally. Uh, just taking up uh, Izzy, taking Izzy and Disco for a ride. And uh, as you can see, Storm Aiden is kicking in. It's quite nice, nice and fresh. So just, just loving these autumn colours. You can see them here. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. Look. And they match my hat. You see, it's just the last bits of the autumn. They're just, it's so pretty. It's my favourite. I think I've said on my channel before, this is my favourite part. This is my favourite season. I just absolutely love it. I do. So, anyway, it's nice to get out, clear the head while we can, and uh, hope you're all well. So, I've got a special task on today. I'm looking for some hazel sticks for my dad. My dad uh, makes walking sticks, some really, some really good, excellent stuff he does. It's really uh, good. So uh, he's running low on uh, supplies. So I've brought out my uh, bush crafting knife. And uh, I know it's a place a bit further down the, the valley down there where there's some on the side of the road, which is easy to get to. So uh, we're just gonna cut a couple of uh, sticks and take them, take them when I can to my dad. All right, guys, bring you back later. So the bottom of this, uh, so as I said, today, I've got an uh, extra special mission as well as looking after Isabel, um, is to go and find some hazel sticks on the side of this road or out on our wall. Now, I know just down here around the, this corner here, where the river cuts across the uh, road, there's a nice, nice hazel uh, tree on the side of the road. So we'll go and have a look and see what we can see. Okay, I'll take you back later. So here is, uh, this mountain is up by a place called Tremurkin and uh, it's one of my favourite parts of this mountain range because it's very quiet as opposed to uh, Moilvama and that area but on a clear day you can see right over to Snowdonia that way so it's really, really nice but like I say for riding your horses or ponies and stuff or you just want a quiet walk it's great it's uh, right away from the right away from the crowd just how i like it anyway i'll catch up with izzy there she goes over the tops so uh i'll bring you back later i'm gonna have to get a mountain bike with a battery on it here in a minute i'll just show you the views and they're just something else they're really splendid So it's a absolutely beautiful bridle path this here and the views right behind us. You can see to the coast there and then behind us, the farmland and the hills over the top. You can just see they're just absolutely stunning. They really are. So it's a, it's a one of the favorite one of mine. It's uh, as I say, it's tucked away. And um, I think it's actual, this path here is actually a, um, it's a byway. So you do tend sometimes you, you might get Land Rovers and people off-roading, but it's not generally known that well. So, it's a, you know, from a, a horse riding perspective, it's great because you can get away and you're safe. Isabel's safe on a pony. But uh, I just love it because, you know, you're tucked away from anywhere. Now, apparently, there's some uh, hazel sticks. Isabel reliably informs me this is where we spotted them last week. So I'm going to got, uh, I've got my, my knife here. And I'm just going to retrieve... I'm going to retrieve some from my dad. I'm going to take three back for him for today. And obviously, you know, just take what you need, isn't it? That's the uh, that's the answer, isn't it? But just I'm just going to show you this veil up here behind us. And we've, I'm not I'm really into my birds at the moment, but it's one of the things on my list. But there was a, just stunning. I'll show you on the other side of the veil, this view here, this hillside. It's just, it is fantastic. And uh, there was a bird of prey just hovering above us before we were just watching it. It's just great. And I find going out and getting um, hazel sticks, it's quite therapeutic, actually. It's quite a nice thing to do. 
Um, just getting out and about in nature and just having a scratch around. So here we go. There's a fantastic, see this tree here, is he? Yeah. Look, there's the one. That's the one we spotted. So I'm going to take a few of those. Just, a, just two or three. Take what we need, isn't it? I'll take them back to my dad. He'll enjoy those, won't he? We'll go and, go and take them tomorrow. Little, right. Um, cover, there's a number of hazel, stick, uh, hazel trees, as you can see around here. And these, these quite, you know, for those of you who know your trees, you can, um, a lot of them are planted near uh, in hedgerows because of the way they grow vertically, I believe. But for making walking sticks and country sticks and that sort of stuff, they're ideal. So um, out, when I'm out and about, I'm always on the look for my dad and uh, I'll just get two or three today so I can carry them back, obviously. But there's a, there's a multitude here. And if you look behind us, this wood uh, in the background is, you just pan around. There's a load here as well. So they're in plentiful supply here. So let's just see what we can take here. There's a nice one there, is he? Mm. Right in the, in, the, in the behind here? Yeah. We'll get that, shall we? Wow, that's a nice one. one nice one there and that's relatively straight and what my dad was looking for is one of these with a like a, a uh at the bottom it's curved round and sort of attached to the base of the tree i'll try and have a look for those because he wants to make a sort of that's where you make a sometimes you can make a hand like the hand uh, rest uh where you put the hand at the end so um that'll do that's fine and of course the ones that are a bit a bit out of shape he's got a system where he uses like a steam uh like a pipe and you print the pipe and you steam them and then they they able to um, manipulate them because they go all soft. It's quite interesting, really. So, um, like I said, though, but as regards collecting them, I find it quite therapeutic. It's good for the mind. It's just something to do. And you're scratching around the woods. And uh, before you know it, half an hour has gone. It's just, it's good fun. So I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to go and have a look for another couple of uh, hazel sticks. All right. Here, right in the woods. So I'll go down here and have a look at the Oh yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. Do you want me to walk over? You can come right over there, darling. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, so we found a real fantastic one here. They're a little bit big, but they're in the middle here, some really nice ones. So let's just take a couple more and I'll be back with you. Dad. this is exactly now one of the things my dad wanted was to be able to get one with a, from the base of the tree as you can see they're thicker there and as you'll probably be, hopefully be able to craft that into sort of a thumb the thumb stick bit of it so uh, I'm just going to cut the end of this off and I'll show you in a minute yeah. nothing better than being in the woods and cutting sticks messing around it's just really good fun I love it Right, careful not to break it. There you go. And there you go. Another one there on the base. Oh, I've got my hat on. Put the base there, so that'll make a nice the top of the stick, if you can see that. <laughs> okay. Right, I think we're done. Yeah. Good oh, right. Okay. So found five reasonably 
shaped sticks. Hopefully, uh, my dad will be able to do something with those. I'm sure he will be. But uh, as I said, I really enjoy this uh, going out in the woods and just collecting sticks. It's just we're just uh, this local bridle path to us is great because you can just see it behind you. Just tucked away from nowhere in the middle of the hills, and not, not many people know about this place. It's uh, you know, I think when we come this way, you chance across one or two people at the most. And, that, and it's just an absolute pleasure to be here in sort of uh, late autumn now, or middle of autumn. And there's just a, the clocks went back, a couple weeks back. But look at this, look at the light now at the end of the day. Isn't it fabulous, isn't it? And you can see right behind the hills. I'll just show you through my behind here. I think you just about see it the light, the hills there rolling. It's just, just a great place to be. So, hope you enjoyed this. Something a bit different. I'm going to go and catch up with Isabel and I'll leave you with this beautiful view. So this was the uh, the other side of the Vale that I was telling you about, and uh, that hill where you often see some birds of prey swooping around. And uh, next time I'm here, I'm going to bring my binoculars with me so I can sit there and just keep an eye out on them. But uh, what a splendid part of the day! I think the photographers call this the Golden Hour, don't they? Because look, you can see the sunset behind me and uh, the colours over the countryside are just something else aren't they just a great great time great time to be alive just look at these views and the autumn colors <laughs>